He's healthier than me. Ever since I can remember, I have made a conscious effort in my life to have a incredibly clean and healthy diet. I am vegan and I tend not to eat too much gluten. Eating food is equal to happiness, so I really need to focus on eating what I like. A lot of junk food usually. My mom was really into health and so it's something I grew up with. I'm sure that when I start eating healthy, it'll probably, you know, do something magical. I mean, if it doesn't, I'm never gonna eat healthy, so. I think for me, it's gonna be hard mentally, but physically, it's gonna be harder for you. Dun, dun, dun. So literally, all my favorite foods in there. Okay, pizza. Oh, you put in parentheses. I can usually eat the whole pizza. No vegetables on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm eating a whole pizza. Let's go. So breakfast smoothie. I like smoothies. Blueberries, kale, banana, wheat breads powder. What's wheatgrass? Wheatgrass is, um, it's a grass. So I'm eating grass. Yeah. I think one out of 10, I'll do maybe like eight. I think I'm gonna do terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so Saturday morning, I went to get the smoothie for my breakfast smoothie, and then I got a wheatgrass shot because they had it. She's gonna have a wheatgrass shot, and you're gonna be like, I can take on the world. <laughs> it's like, not good at all. It's like warm grass. I did the whole Saturday morning cartoon thing in bed with my Reese's Puffs. It's just really, really sugary. I don't know if I can eat a whole bowl of this. But it's kind of good. So it's 11.50 and I finished a smoothie while I was driving and I am so hungry. I'm used to very carb heavy breakfast, so I was getting kind of hangry. So I went to yoga Saturday afternoon. I was really tired during class. It's as if the sugar from the cereal just rushed to my brain and all I want to do is go get a giant green juice to cleanse the sugar out of my system. This guy is drinking something healthy. What you drinking? I cheated, okay? But after dinner, I made up for it. I ate a whole bunch of Doritos. I'm gonna eat so many of these. These are amazing, wow. All right, smoothie time. Oh, it's good. Oh, I thought it was gonna taste like really bad, but it's really good. I even went hiking with my dog and I was like feeling good. I was like, yeah, I feel healthy and I have energy. The only sucky part was like after I came back home, I was super hungry you know, and tired, but I had to cook again. I really failed. I failed hard. I'm just gonna admit it. I should have been better. I should have stuck to the experiment more, but I, I felt the effects. And Sunday night dinner. I went through the Burger King drive-thru. You are the last person I would imagine to even accept this challenge because of how often we discuss health and how often I see you doing like push-ups in our backyard. <laughs> Hi, can I have a small fries and a Coke? Like I feel if anyone saw me doing this, it would just ruin my image. <laughs> French fries and ketchup, I can, I can take that. But I don't know, like, I don't have a burning desire to eat the rest of this. I'm not craving this, I'm craving a green juice. So, made the kelp noodles with pesto, salad, some kale. I want other stuff. I want like chicken wings and I want burgers, pizza, other stuff to go with it. I would prefer it with just like normal noodles. I think that would be really, really good, but this is a healthy alternative. I'm really glad I did this challenge. It was a really, like I learned a lot. I learned how to cook a little bit and I learned about a lot of other ingredients that I didn't know about. Like I realized throughout this experience that the food that I eat is so much a part of my identity and not having it, I feel like I'm not myself. Sweet chili Doritos are the bomb. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that.